picking their way through the debris of a riot zone, the children of Holy Cross were able to walk to school this morning without any trouble. Protestant residents apparently keeping their promise not to demonstrate, giving fresh hopes that perhaps the tensions of the last few days are beginning to subside. It seems to be calm enough. No, I didn't think twice about it. Uh, she has, she's doing her 11 plus this year, so it's important for her to get back to school and get back to normality. But amid the wreckage of the riots, there was a heavy security presence. Everyone here knows this morning's peace is a fragile one. Let's hope this continues through the afternoon. I think it will have a positive impact on uh, the community. Uh, I hope it will have a positive impact on the, the type of scenes we've seen over the last two nights. More than 30 policemen and soldiers were injured last night as bitter sectarian violence again erupted. Police found themselves under attack from both loyalist and nationalist mobs. 11 people were arrested as acid bombs, stones and fireworks were thrown, along with two homemade grenades. The police fired plastic bullets in return as their lines came under sustained attack. As the clear-up started today, there were hopes that this morning's return to a relatively normal school run will send a powerful signal to the rioters that the violence must stop, not least for the sake of the children. Now Rivers, ITV News.